Uh, the main suspect in the disappearance of American student Natalie Holloway is being extradited to the U.S. right now. Peruvian authorities turned Joran van der Sloot over to the FBI. He's been serving a 28-year sentence in Peru for murdering a woman there in 2010. Here in the U.S., van der Sloot is set to face federal charges of extortion and wire fraud. He's accused of trying to make money off of his connection to the unsolved 20, 2005 Holloway case. CBS News correspondent Janet Shamlian joins us now with more. Uh, Janet, tell us where you are and explain the circumstances surrounding these charges Van der Sloot faces and how all of this came about. Errol, uh, we're at the Birmingham airport where we are expecting within the next couple of hours to see a plane bringing Joran van der Sloot back to the United States from Peru where he has been serving a 28-year sentence for the murder of a 21-year-old uh, Peruvian businesswoman. To be clear, he is not coming back here to face murder charges. He is being extradited to face federal charges of wire fraud and extortion. This is related to a 2010 incident five years after Natalie Holloway disappeared in Aruba. He approached Beth Holloway, Natalie's mom, and tried to extort some $250,000 from her, in exchange for which he promised to tell her information about what happened to Natalie and where Natalie's body could be found. And as part of an FBI sting, he accepted $25,000. And that is where these charges come from. He's never been charged with her death. However, he was arrested twice in Aruba. He was the last person to see her in 2005 after her high school graduation trip to that island. Janet, um, since this, this incident, uh, the extortion incident, alleged extortion incident, took place in 2010, tell us why this is happening now, about 13 years later and 20 years after Natalie Holloway's disappearance. Uh, also, given that Van der Sloot is already serving time in Peru for murder, what happens if he's convicted here in the U.S.? Yeah, so let's talk about the TikTok on this. He has been in the Peruvian jail for quite a period of time. This has been working its way through the legal system for a number of years, and a Peruvian judge has granted temporary custody to the United States so he could come here and face these charges here. If he is convicted, he will not immediately serve time here on these charges. He will go back to Peru. He will serve the rest of his time there. And again, this is assuming a conviction on these charges. Then he would come back to the United States and serve time here. Now, there is some hope by the family that if he were convicted here, they may be able to do some type of a trade, meaning in exchange for a lesser sentence, that he would be willing to give up some information about Natalie. However, I spoke to Mark White, that is Natalie's father's attorney, just a short time ago. He believes there will never be any truthful information coming from Joran van der Sloot because he says he has never told the truth up until now. Wow, it's all just so bizarre. And uh, you've touched on some of this, but I'm wondering what a conviction in the U.S. overall uh, would mean for the Holloway family and Natalie's missing person case. Yeah, it's, it's, it's significant, Errol, but it's not, you know, it wouldn't be a murder conviction. Right. So what they said, it's, it's not really closure, but it would give them some accountability. And, uh, you know, you can't imagine losing a child, right? And, and I, speaking to the attorney for Dave Holloway, I mean, this man is still broken up about it, as is Beth. And they just, they want some accountability for what happened. So this will never bring them a murder conviction or the closure that they really seek. But... As uh, Mark White, the attorney for Dave Holloway, told me, it is something, and they're glad to see this happening at this point in time. All right, Janet Chamlian, with that update, thank you so much.